What's going on, everybody? I'm Tyzilla83. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. I really, I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all the support the channel gets. Uh, if you would, at the end of the video, please like, comment, share, and tap the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. We're talking about No Man's Sky, and particularly we're talking about someone who got their hands on No Man's Sky a little bit earlier. So, a player by the name of uh, Damien got his hands on the game for a large amount. Got his hands on the game. And has played it. He's posted his experiences on Reddit. I think he tried to put some up on YouTube. They were taken down. Um, now there's other people who I believe recorded his experience using something like OBS, some sort of you know uh, uh, video file recording uh, software. Using something uh, have now, now they're starting to put up some of the, uh, some of the actual live stream, some of his stuff that he tried to put up on the internet on YouTube. I think I caught some of that. I don't know if it was genuine or not. If I can find it again, I think it's already been taken down. But if I can find it again, I may I may post the link in the in the description. But I got to find it. But I I watched about 25 minutes of a 45 minute video. Supposedly it's Damien's actual live streamed um, PlayStation 4 footage. And so again, we know that this comes out August 9th. That's a week and a day from today when I'm making this video. He did this, I believe, last week. Now, I was in Vegas last week. I, in fact, I had heard about this. I read about this yesterday, or someone on Twitter had mentioned it a couple of days ago. And I was, Man, I really need to get in on this, find out what's going on. Sure enough, I found GameSpot.com. They have an article about it. But I'm not going to go into everything, but I will say this now. He claims he got to the center of the galaxy in 30 hours, but did so in a kind of uh, uh, a way that may not be possible when the game goes live. Here's what he said: he he did deliberately cut down his time to get there by continuously or by continually acquiring and selling an in uh, an in-game item that gave him a large profit. This allowed him to quickly upgrade his warp drive faster than most players would otherwise be able to do. To a certain extent, he mainlined the game, although he states that he spent some time off the direct path toward the center. But basically, this guy found a way to get, you know, to upgrade, do what he needed to do to get to the center of the galaxy quicker than you're going to be able to when the game goes live. So that's interesting. So 30 hours, he gets to the center, and he also states that, you know, obviously there's more to do upgrading his ship and exploring planets and things like this. Again, I saw some footage, and I'm not going to post anything. I don't want this channel being, you know, I don't want any, you know, bullshit going on on my channel. But what I did see was a, it was a 45 minute video and I watched 25 minutes of, of continual play on the PlayStation 4. And I gotta tell you, what I saw looked sexy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, like I'm thinking about it, it looked exciting to me. It looked fun. I read some of the Reddit comments and I came across one guy who said, I'm actually now, based on what I've seen, I was more concerned about footage before and, and concerned more about the game before than I am now. And this individual more or less stated that he was one of those kind of anti-hypers, someone on the other side, and then saw some stuff in this live stream. Now, I don't know if he was there for the live stream or if he somehow caught some of the same footage that I saw. I don't know. But more or less stated that this reassured his, his excitement for the game, that he was kind of excited before, and for whatever reason, now he's seen the light. But good for him. Kudos to him. He saw something that you know, but th don't get me wrong, there were a lot of people on the other side of the aisle that were like, okay, I watched the entire video, I saw the entire stream, I'm disappointed. There's got to be more. And, you know, and then some of them definitely calling out the hype culture and all this. Um, it's, it's, this is where it's, it's, it's a two-way street when we're talking about hype and gaming. Um, and I said this on my, on my No Man's Sky video, in fact, on my uh, anti-hyper video, I said, you can be both. You can be excited about a game. But you need to you need to watch some of the negative content. You need to see what these people are saying and absorb what they're telling you because they're doing you a service. These people who are telling you to not be hyped about the game, maybe their message, you don't have to agree with their message, but you can at least absorb what they're telling you, why you shouldn't be excited. Absorb it and just you should decide whether or not from that point on you're still going to be excited about the game. And I'm going to always defend anybody's right to do I to be on either side of this. Now I think it's I do think it's a little bit ridiculous for someone to say, 
you're a part of the problem for, for making hype there, for making content, being excited about a particular game. I think that's ridiculous. But if anyone, and, and again, I've had friends in my circle make videos before. One of them, that's what he does. He makes videos, you know, telling you why you shouldn't buy a game on early access on Steam. And he's doing you a great service. And I think even people who are telling you, who are going out of their way to say, look, here are the things that should concern you. You need to absorb what they're telling you. I have. I have watched both sides. And I have made a decision to stay excited, to be hyped about this game with all the details that I have. Now, here's the kicker. There is a good chance. Again, I said this in the last video. This game could suck. It could suck from an from, from a exploring standpoint, a, simula, a space flight sim standpoint. It could just completely suck. And that's what makes this all so intriguing. We're all waiting to find out. And I don't care. I, I mean, I want it to be good, right? Because I'm going to play the game. But if it's bad, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to make some videos about it. And I'm probably, hell, who knows? Maybe I'm. Maybe there's something about the game that pisses me off. You bet your ass I'm going to make a rant video about whatever that may be. I do that with Bethesda and Fallout all the time. Here we are, you know, small studio, making this huge ass game people are saying you need to be on the side of caution and they're right but you can still be both and i'm going to always defend your right to to say that now if you're blurting out um things that are incorrect if you're stating or if you're making broad statements like this is going to be the greatest game of all time i'll defend your right to say it but i'll probably disagree with you uh, this will more than likely be the last video that i make until the game actually launches so for those of you who are excited about the no man's sky content uh, keep it here, or if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, I will have content uh, around No Man's Sky coming out. Again, I've got it digitally pre-ordered. The the minute it's available, I'm going to start playing it. I don't know if I'm going to stream it. Don't I, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. Not the first night, anyways. For all things No, Man, no Man's Sky, definitely subscribe and, and uh, stick around. The last thing I'm going to say about the hype and anti-hype, I'm going to always defend both sides' rights to say what they want, but I... but. A, a large, there, there's definitely a lot of, there's definitely a lot of uh, sh shit flinging at people who are creating content or being expressive about their their excitement for No Man's Sky. And as far as most people can tell, that's a part of hype culture. So, I mean, it all depends on what you consider to be hype, I guess. But to me, if you're making content surrounding No Man's Sky, obviously on the pro side, if you're talking about it on social media, to a lot of people you're a part of the problem you're creating content or, or you're you're talking about no man's sky therefore you're adding towards the overall hype of the game again i guess it just all kind of depends on what you view to be hype or overhype or whatever but uh just remember man i mean uh, hype has always been around since the beginning of gaming i mean it's always been there you're never going to make it go away and if you're going to go on some crusade to end hype you know you're i think you're on a noble task i really do but I think it should be, I think it ought to be along the lines of just making people aware of what they're hyped for. That's what I think it ought to be. I think it ought to be like, all right, you're hyped about Fallout 5. Let me tell you why you ought to be a little bit cautious. Well, I'd be hyped for Fallout 5. I would. I know I would be. I'd be excited. And you know what? That's a part of the culture. It's, it, it, it's involved in everything. Movies, sports, entertainment, hype is what makes the world go round. Guys, that is it for me. Until next week, I'm really excited. Oh, No Man's Sky, I can't wait. I hope it's everything that I want it to be. It may not. It may suck. And you know what? If it sucks, I may throw it under the bus. I'm not going to lie. If it sucks, I'm going to do that. I'm going to throw it under the bus. You guys try like hell to stay kind to one another. Be kind to one another. Until the next video, peace.